The respiratory system exists to facilitate the exchange of gases between the atmospheric air and the cells of our bodies. Atmospheric air consists predominantly of nitrogen, with approximately 21% being oxygen. The remainder is made up of small amounts of inert gases, including carbon dioxide at around 0.03%. Oxygen is inhaled from the atmosphere, with carbon dioxide being exhaled. Breathing can be varied in rate and depth to respond to changing demands placed on oxygen consumption within the body. The respiratory system can be divided into two areas, or zones the upper respiratory zone and the lower respiratory zone. The upper respiratory zone consists of the nose, the nasal cavity, paranasal sinuses and the pharynx, which is split into the nasopharynx, posterior to the nasal cavity, the oropharynx, posterior to the oral cavity and the laryngopharynx, just above the larynx. And this zone provides a filtering, warming and humidifying service to help protect the delicate surfaces lower down in the respiratory tract. The lower respiratory zone consists of the larynx, which deals with production or modification of sounds or speech, the trachea or windpipe, and several structures within the lungs. And these are concerned with either gas exchange itself or delivering the required air to the gas exchange surfaces. The lungs themselves can be split into left and right lungs and are each divided into lobes. The right lung consists of three lobes, superior, middle and inferior and the left lung consists of only two lobes as it's smaller due to the relative position of the heart within the chest cavity. Supplying the lungs with air is the trachea, which contains between 15 and 20 C-shaped rings of cartilage, which provide not only structural support to prevent the trachea closing in on itself, but also a degree of flexibility to allow food to travel down the esophagus which runs posterior to it. The trachea then divides at a structure called the carina, which is around the level of the fifth intercostal space, and becomes the left and right primary bronchi. These enter the lungs alongside pulmonary arteries and veins, and divide again into secondary bronchi and bronchioles. These continue to divide until they reach the site of gas exchange, the alveoli. Surrounding the alveoli there's a very rich blood supply and as both the lining of the alveoli and the adjacent capillaries are both only one cell thick, it allows for exchange of gases between the air and the blood supply. Oxygen transfers from the air to the blood with carbon dioxide, the waste product, being transferred out. The heart can then pump blood around the body supplying oxygen to all cells. A healthy respiratory system is very important for overall health and you will encounter patients in practice with long-term respiratory conditions who require supportive measures. Understanding the relevant anatomy and physiology is essential to being able to treat these patients appropriately.